I'm Dr. Hal Gunn, CEO of Q Biologics. Thank you so much for participating in our trial. Today I'll be showing you how to inject the study treatment and how to measure the skin immune response if there's one present. The study treatment kit should be kept in the fridge. There's three vials. Remove one of the vials. So when you're first starting to use a new vial, you'll notice that there's a circular metal top on the vial, and that needs to be removed. And you can see then underneath there's a rubber stopper. Now the study treatment should be shaken gently before each use. Please shake it gently by turning it upside down and right side up five or six or seven times. And prior to preparing to give yourself an injection, please get an alcohol swab and one of the syringes. The alcohol swab is used to clean the top of the vial. So you can open it like this, pull out the alcohol swab, and then use the alcohol swab to wipe the rubber uh, stopper on the top of the vial. As you prepare to give yourself an inject injection, pick up the syringe. As you can see, the syringe has an orange top covering the needle, and I'll pull that off, and you can see the needle underneath. And it has a white top covering the barrel of the syringe, and you can see I pulled that off now. Now you can pull back on the barrel of the syringe and you can practice that a couple of times. So now you're ready to draw the uh, steady treatment dose into the needle. You've cleaned off that rubber uh, top with the alcohol swab. And what you'll need to do is put that needle directly down into the rubber stopper and then press it down through the rubber stopper into the vial. Turn that vial upside down, and then you're ready to draw the steady treatment uh, into the syringe. You can see the side of the syringe has measurement units. You can see five, 10, 15, and 20. And your first dose is five units, and five units is 0 0.05 mLs. So you can pull back more than you need and then inject what you don't need back into the vial so that there is five units, which is your first starting dose. Once you've got the appropriate amount in the syringe, you turn it back, the vial back right side up, and you pull the uh, syringe and needle uh, out of the vial. Now you're ready to give yourself an injection and I'll uh, show you how to do that, and I'll inject myself. You can inject yourself anywhere in your tummy, in the, underneath the skin, and anywhere uh, on the front or the side of your thigh. Um, and I'll show you um, uh, how to inject. Uh, what you'll want to do is make sure that you vary the site of injection. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll lift my shirt up and I'll give myself an injection in my abdomen. In a moment, we'll talk about the skin response uh, from previously. And you can see that skin response uh, to an injection that I gave myself yesterday. Uh, just make sure that when you inject the next time that you give yourself the injection in a different place, not in the, not in the place where there's already uh, a, a red uh, skin response. Once the skin response fades, which takes two or three days, then you can give yourself an injection back in that place again. You pinch your skin with your thumb and index finger of one hand, and then using the other hand to hold the syringe with your thumb and index finger, you prepare yourself uh, for an injection. The injection should be given at about a 10 or 15 degree angle to the skin. So if this is 90 degrees and this is zero degrees, what you want to do is give it at about 10 or 15 degrees so that it goes just under the skin. And when you're ready, you just insert the needle underneath the skin 
and then holding this syringe with one hand, you press on the barrel of the syringe with the other and inject the steady treatment. And then you just draw out quickly. Once the uh, injection is complete, don't put the uh, top back on the needle, just simply discard uh, the used needle in the sharps container uh, that you have. And uh, make sure that you keep the sharp container uh, out of the reach uh, of children. What you would want to do is put a mark with a pen where you injected the steady treatment so that the following day you'll remember where the injection was given. You may or may not get a skin immune response to the uh, steady treatment. The day following the injection, you should check the injection site and see if there's a skin immune response. If there is, you'll see at the site of the injection a circular pink spot. This pink spot may be slightly tender to touch, but it shouldn't be painful. And it may be very slightly raised, but it shouldn't be swollen. And what you'll do is you'll measure that skin response. The scale that you're interested in is the centimeter scale, which is this scale here. And you can see it goes from zero to one to two to three to four centimeters. So line up the zero, which is right there, and then measure the diameter of that pink spot. And you can see here that it's about three centimeters. Then make sure you record that three centimeters in your study diary. On certain weeks, we would like you to send us a photo of the pink spot. If you could ask a family member or friend to take a photograph, placing the study ruler in the same way that you measured it and hold your wallet card close to the pink spot as well and then take a photograph of that and send it in to the study nurse. So I'll show you that on the side of the syringe there's again these measurement bars and you can see it goes 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 is the maximum that you would give yourself and you'd only give yourself that if you didn't get a skin response as you gradually increased the dose. You start off with five as the dose on the first day. If you get a, a 2.5 to 5 centimeter skin response, then you continue on that dose of five. If you didn't get a skin response to the five unit dose, then you'd gradually increase it by adding two more units. So you would bring it up to seven. So these, each unit is one of these small bars on the syringe. If you didn't get a skin response after that dose, then you would increase it up to nine, which is two more bars. And if you didn't get a skin response at that dose, then you'd increase it up to 11, which is one bar further than the 10 and you would continue to increase the dose until either you got a 2.5 to 5 centimeter skin response or you reach the maximum dose of 20 units, which is 0.2 ml. If you um, inject a dose and you get a skin response but it's less than 2.5 centimeters, then the next time only slightly increase the, uh, the dose by one unit. So for example, if you got a two centimeter or a 1.5 centimeter skin response with the initial dose of five units, on your next dose, because you've got a skin response but it's not quite reaching the, uh, the 2.5 to five centimeter range dose, you'd increase it from five by just one bar up to six. And that's the dose that you would use for your next skin response. And very likely then you would, uh, on the next dose, get a skin response that's 2.5 to 5 centimeters. If you have any uh, questions or uh, uh, would like further clarification, please don't hesitate to contact the study nurse. So uh, on behalf of Q Biologics, thanks once again for participating in our trial.